Broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be, across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my ChadDeckard.com podcast show. My shows will cover how online and offline marketing and communications can grow your business, as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurism, and travel and adventure. Thank you for tuning in to my show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now, let's get down to business. Let's begin with show news and updates. Last week, I got five new iTunes reviews via email. Here is the first one from Josh in the UK. Hey Chad, great to read your blog and I love absolutely everything that you are doing. You have given me some new perspectives on my social media strategy for my business in 2013. I really appreciate it and really look forward to more content that you produce to come. In fact, I went back and downloaded the entire archive of your podcast show so I don't miss a thing. Great stuff. Well, thanks, Joss. I really appreciate the feedback and your listening loyalty. Please continue to share my podcast on your social networks and tell other people about it. That's the greatest appreciation that I uh, can receive from any of my listeners. Uh, I also got four more. I got four more reviews from the U.S. The first other one was from Christy. Just heard the last episode on how to get more social network likes, followers, and friends. Really like your show. Thank you. Uh, Eileen said, I find your podcast very interesting and glad I found you. I love listening while driving to and from work. Well, thanks a lot, Eileen. And Michelle said, hey, Chad, congrats on doing a great job podcasting. Love the guitar intro as well as the energy you put into your show. Keep the Christmas spirit by giving more tips, tricks, and techniques. So that's really cute, Michelle. Thank you. And our last review was from Bart who said, Chad, thanks for producing your show. I really enjoy them. And I have already put some of your knowledge to work in my business and social marketing plan. Well, I really appreciate the five-star reviews from Josh, Christy, Eileen, Michelle, and Bart. Thank you very much. Since that was so much fun to hear some feedback beginning uh, to come in from the listening audience, I decided to set up another cool way to actually hear yourself on my show when you give feedback to the show. So, to give your feedback of this show or for any of my past episodes, please go to C. Deckard.com. That's C-D-E-C-K-A-R-D.com. And look for a tab on the homepage that says leave a voice message at the upper right hand side of the screen. Click it and proceed to leave your audio comments and I will transfer them to the recordings of my show. You may also use this to ask questions I will attempt to answer for you as well. You might even want to plug yourself in that. So I'm open to that as well. So I just want to get feedback from people. So today is subject matter is going to be the real secret to 1,000 blog subscribers in 60 days or less. Yes, that's what I said. Well, I was able to accomplish, uh, you know, the rebranding of my website and blog here, cdecker.com. And yes, I did accomplish uh, getting about a thousand subscribers in the last 60 days, actually a little bit more. And I'm really pleased with it. Of course, I've had a lot of experience. I had mailing lists and people that I knew that knew me from being in the business for quite some time since 1996. So it wasn't really extremely difficult for me to get about a thousand listeners. I just want some feedback from you all so that I can you know, know that there's some living bodies than just seeing numbers on the board. So, uh, I'm going to begin by, you know, back in the day when you know blogging was the only thing in town, uh, you could rely on a handful of faithful readers to help spread the word about your blog. Over time, you would slowly accumulate a following and eventually reach the status of popular blogger. Sadly, you know, that model would never work today. There are just way too many people with blogs. The new model flips the old model on its head. You now have to go straight to the celebrity bloggers, get their attention, and then have them endorse you. Look at Arena Huffington. She didn't start off at the bottom and claw her way to the top like Deuce did. She was a multimillionaire who was married to a senator. She had serious connections, and she leveraged those connections. 
You might not be a multimillionaire married to a senator, but you can still cultivate connections with powerful people and get yourself a thousand new subscribers in less than 60 days. Let me show you how. First, you have to attract endorsed traffic. While it's great to look to social media sites like Reddit, StumbleUpon, or Dig, YouTube, Twitter, and I could go on, that can send you a ton of traffic. You'll notice something about this traffic when you look at your analytics. You'll notice that the traffic from these sites will tend to be high, but your bounce rates will also be high. And the page views and time on site, well, that'll be low too. In other words, this isn't very qualified traffic. To get a serious bump in qualified traffic, you have to get endorsed traffic. What do I mean by that? Well, endorsed traffic is one of three things. One, A-list bloggers linking to your site from their blog. Two, A-list social media players sharing your content on the social web. Three, posting content on an A-list player's blog. All those ways in which somebody with a lot of credibility and authority give you props. It's the last one I really want to focus on in this post because it will deliver huge chunks of traffic or targeted traffic to your site with the right strategy. Okay, next subject matter here in regards to this. How to get the attention of an A-list blogger. Well, that's the first question anybody logically would think and ask since I just said what I said. Popular bloggers are very busy people, whether it's from creating content, collaborating on a joint project with another blogger, or speaking. But one thing that they are never too busy to do is read comments. Very important point. That's why I beg you to send me comments and, and give me feedback on these programs. They might not answer every single one, but they will read a lot of them. And guess what they are looking for? They are looking for thoughtful and deep comments that make it clear you get what they are writing about or what they're saying in my case. If you can write several paragraphs where you teach the blogger and his or her readers or listeners something new, then you can steal the show. If you're really good, you can get the A-list blogger to go, now, why didn't I think about that? One practice I like to teach people is to use their URL in their name when they leave a comment. For example, I would type Chad Deckard at chaddeckard.com. Even though that is really my, you know, really it's Chad at chaddeckard.com, but I also have Chad C. Deckard at Gmail. But you know what I'm saying. It's a way of saying your name and, oh, by the way, here's my .com and not be too spammy about it. So, what do you put in the box that asks for your URL? Never put your homepage URL. Instead, link to an interior page on your site that is relevant to the conversation. That way you improve your use, the user experience when somebody clicks through to your site. Hmm. The next question might be, how to email an A-list blogger about guest posting? Okay. No matter how many stellar comments you leave on a blog, you will probably never get a personal invitation to write for that blogger. You'll probably get a lot of encouraging replies, but not a personal email. So what do you do? Now that you have their attention through your comments, your email, you know what you write needs to be simple and clear. Dear A-list blogger, thank you very much for the high quality content that you publish every day. It's really been a benefit to my life in my blog. I was wondering if it would be okay if I wrote a guest post for you. In the last six months, I've written for X, Y, and Z blogs. Here is a link to my blog. Sincerely, your name. This email gets a few things done. First, it thanks them upfront for what they do. It validates their hard work on their blog. Even though that's a simple statement, trust me, it means a lot for these bloggers. They wouldn't be blogging for the public if they didn't want that kind of recognition. So give it to them. Second, you make your request clear. You don't go into seven points on why they should let you write for them. You get to the point right away. Third, you provide proof that you have the chops to get the job done by mentioning other blogs you've written for. Now, if this is your very first guest blogging pitch, then you'll have to rely on your very own blog to get it done. Fourth, you end the email quickly. 
If they come back and say, no, don't worry, I've been rejected plenty of times, then cross them off your list and move on. If they say yes, then you've succeeded. And of course, you can email the blogger for other reasons other than asking to guest post. One time I emailed a very popular blogger and asked why it seemed like his Twitter numbers dropped drastically. He emailed me black to explain, and he had a short ex we had a short exchange before I casually brought up the topic of writing a guest post for him. Another time during an email exchange, a blogger clicked on the link to my blog in my email signature and invited me to write. So it happens in many different ways. You just have to kind of put it out there in a lot of different ways. And one way to look at it is to study and look at what I do um, and, and, and copycat other people who are successful bloggers or internet marketers. Okay, next question. How to write a guest post for an A-list blogger? Well, once you get the chance to write a post for an A-list blogger, you have to make sure that you write the best post you've ever written. This is your chance to shine in front of 50,000 or more people and I want to show you how to make the most of it. Okay, here's what you need to think about. One, killer headlines. Spend an enormous amount of time trying to create a killer headline. Look at hundreds of examples to see what is popular and use the four U's formula of headlines. Unique, urgent, ultra specific, and useful. Show the blogger that you really care about attracting a lot of attention to their blog. Number two, advanced blog posts. Don't go light on your guest post. Back it up with really solid research and details. Make sure you write an article that makes people want to bookmark it because it is so full of good information. So, you know, it just juices them. And I would say think of some of like Dan Zarala's social science posts or those over at KISS Metrics. I'll repeat that. Think of some of the the posts in, uh, uh, from Dan Zarella over at Social Science Posts or those over at KISS Metrics. Third, conversation. Write in a style that is friendly and engaging, but also write in a style that will resonate with their audience. You've got to relate. You've got to capture them. Fourth, authority. Prove that you know what you're talking about and why they should listen to you. Have you led a huge company? Have you been behind some brilliant scientific research? Have you experienced something mind-blowing? If so, you better tell them and step up to the plate. Number five, links. Do your homework on the A-list blogger site and find a bunch of pages that you can link to in your article. This will show them that you've done a thorough job of trying to create the best content and you don't forget to link out to other bloggers in your guest post too. They will appreciate you trying to build credibility and connections as well. Thus, you're sharing the goods and the fruits of your labors with others to get exposure, not only yourself, and backing up the fact that you're promoting and endorsing the person or the A-list blogger that's allowing them to give you the guest spot to, to post an article or some information on. Hmm, sounds, sounds pretty brilliant. All right, moving on. Also, create a byline that will drive traffic to the right page. Stanford Smith over at Pushing Social has a great three sentence long formula that answers these three questions. One, who are you? Two, what do you do? And four, who? And three, what's the call to action? Here's how my byline would probably sound like. I'm Chad Deckard, the CEO and Chief Marketing Officer of ChadDeckard.com. I teach business owners the secrets of big brands using generated traffic online with leads and data monetization and that lead to profits. Pick up the phone sometime and give me a call at 561-705-7862 and I'll show you how you can double your traffic in 30 days from today and I'll also give you a free bonus worth $300. Well, that's what I use and it seems to work pretty well. Moving on forward, create a personalized landing page. This is absolutely crucial for your success. When you create a byline for the guest posts, never send them to your homepage. Instead, send them to a landing page you created just for them. 
For example, if you write an article for Open Forum, create a landing page giving away your free resource. The headline should read something like, Thank you, Open Forum Readers. If you write one for Mashable, write a headline that says, Welcome Mashable Readers. I've seen registrations jump 10% with personalized landing pages just like that. So it's definitely worth it to personalize your landing page from where your traffic's coming from with the link that you put in a post or in your byline. All right, put this strategy, strategy excuse me, into overdrive. Now, as you probably realize, you're not going to get 1,000 subscribers from one guest post. My guess is you'll probably have to publish anywhere from five to 10 posts. That's the real secret to making this guest post strategy work. I'll explain this fast and furious guest posting strategy in a pro blogger piece I wrote a number of months ago where you settle down, get as many guest post uh, commitments as you can, and then write like crazy. The world's strongest librarians used this approach when he wrote a 42 blog posts in seven week period. It is a lot of work, but you'll get a lot of great results from doing it. So on the other hand, you can also get one commitment from an A-list blogger, send him an article, and then follow up immediately a few days with another article, and then another one, and so on. Or you could try and get a job with that A-list blogger as a regular contributor or even an associate editor. That way you get a lot more exposure and great constructive feedback from that blogger as you give them more and more content. The idea is you've just got to align yourself with that blogger and get to know them you know backwards and forwards it's almost like you know going on a job interview and knowing you know who the potential employer is and some strategy and doing your homework and if you do the homework and you impress them by the knowledge that they have you have about their business and what they do could obviously offer something that was insightful it might not even be right but the fact that you even took the time and the effort that matters all the most to anybody out there in today's world of anybody who takes the extra effort instead of getting you know the the quick fix so in conclusion the secret secret formula to getting 1000 subscribers in 60 days or less is to put the guest posting strategy into overdrive and publish several articles on a list blogs and where you send that endorsed traffic to a personalized landing page that personalized landing page is a critical piece so don't skip it it's truly the best way to maximize all of your hard work what other tips can you share to help readers get a thousand subscribers in 60 days or less Okay, that's my question to you. Once again, I would love to hear your feedback as I challenge you, my audience who's listening. What other tips can you share to help myself and readers or listeners get 1,000 subscribers in 60 days or less? I'd love to hear it, but that was my strategy and strategies of other people that I work with in the industry that have shared with me uh, what works. So I would love to hear from you and so would the rest of us. If you like my show, please consider subscribing to it, which you can do by visiting my website, chaddecker.com. Or if you are an iTunes or Stitcher listener, take it with you wherever you go on your mobile device. I invite you to give the rest of the listeners and myself all the feedback that you can contribute or support because you are what makes this show a success. Please click your share or like button for this audio or video version of this show on your social networks like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or your blog. I really appreciate you doing so. Well, that's about it for this show. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. This is Chad Deckard signing off. Goodbye for now.